and then discharge people into them. The public is now wondering if patients would be safer staying in Byberry. But during the previous months, a Byberry patient committed suicide and another froze to death on the grounds of the hospital. We began to, to understand much more clearly the need for a type of housing that indeed was 100% accountable for people. So the concept of a long-term structured residence or a secure, locked, community-based residence, uh, we began to see the state shift towards you know, accepting that concept and approving it. And I think as tragic as the deaths were, their outcome was extremely positive for the whole process. Byberry sits in limbo, neither open nor closed. The 200 remaining patients are neglected. The skeleton staff are so overworked that actual therapy has ceased to exist. In October 1989, Estelle Richmond becomes Philadelphia's Director of Mental Health, and Karen Snyder becomes State Deputy Secretary for Mental Health. They are both sympathetic to the coalition's plan. Estelle and I worked 12, 15 hours a day, no question. We often talked about being joined at the hip because we had constant communication. I think what made it special is we both had exactly the same vision. We knew that whatever it took to make this happen, we were going to commit to make it happen. Late in October, the coalition meets with Governor Casey to urge him to proceed with the closing. I made a very compelling argument for why the governor, in changing his mind, would lo have, lose all credibility. And I tried to say to him that, uh, that, that it was a courageous thing that he did, was doing, and he should continue to be courageous. But by the time it got to me, I was like, you know, you've got to do this and you've got to give us the money, and, and the tears were running down my face, at which point the governor came around his desk and put his arm around me, and he said, we're going to do it, Loretta, and we're going to do it right. With the coalition, Karen Snyder, and Estelle Richmond working closely together, the tide begins to turn. What I recall best is concluding they must be right. They have a perspective that is probably the real perspective, and we haven't been listening. At that point in time, the coalition had done their job superbly to a T. Um, I think that I was able to bring the city along and Karen was able to bring the state along and what we had was everybody on the same page in the same paragraph at the same time. In February 1990, Governor Casey proceeds with the closing of Philadelphia State Hospital. The budget for the closing and for community services is nearly 50 million dollars. The lawsuit reaches a settlement, and now there is a guarantee of services to former patients to match the amount of time they spend at Byberry. Finally, on June 21st, 1990, Byberry closes forever. You know, it's a... Uh... It's not just the closing of a hospital, it's not just a building being shut down, but the idea that people can be cared about, that we, can, that we, we care enough about people with mental illness to make those kind of efforts. Because it wasn't the politically correct thing to do for anybody, for the governor or for the secretary or the department, deputy secretary or the Office of Mental Health, anybody, to take the risk that they took. This is Seasons, the first long-term structured residence, or LTSR, in the world. The people who live here are those that even the experts said couldn't make it in the community. It's a, it's a really beautiful place to be in. They have grounds and, you know, and it's a fun place to be at instead of being in a hospital in an institution locked in. Yeah, the setting helps because you can concentrate on your problems and get yourself together instead of concentrating on um, 
all the things that, um, you know, bug you in different places, you know? But now you get three meals a day, you get your room you share with somebody, watch TV, listen to music. I just think that Seasons has um, put some, some, I guess, given me a little bit of heart because I, it gives me the courage to want to go on. Seasons epitomizes the new system of alternative care developed in Philadelphia. It's a small-scale, individually focused program limited to 16 people who can stay there as long as they need to. LTSRs are unique in that they combine residents with treatment. Well, my, uh, my Benadryl and um, Tegretol. You'll still get those like you were getting them at the hospital. Seasons is a secure, locked facility. It is intensively staffed, including a nurse, 24 hours a day. A psychiatrist and a psychologist are assigned to the program. The staff are well paid and better trained. And each resident has many layers of supervision to guarantee his or her well-being. In addition to site staff, each resident has a community treatment team, which provides intensive case management 24 hours a day, seven days a week. She has done a great job with me. She's been there for me. She's, you know, she helps me out in, in whatever ways I need. Many case managers are former Byberry employees who also made the transition into the community. We keep a close enough eye on them that, that we can usually observe them and talk them into treatment that they might need. That prevents the long-term hospitalizations that, that people would have other, otherwise needed. And do you have people to come and visit you here from other sites? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Another level of supervision is the consumer satisfaction team, staffed by consumers and families in paid positions, who monitor the quality of care in each facility. For the first time in history, the money followed the clients into the community. And the money is better spent because now the system serves thousands instead of only hundreds at Byberry. More people are employed in this system, and Byberry workers didn't lose their jobs once the hospital closed. But best of all, people with severe mental illness now enjoy a better life. In this kind of setting, failure means only that a resident has to be hospitalized for a short spell, far better than the...